Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your config file in your T-Shock folder. So if you're running the Terraria server mod T-Shock um, using version 4.2, after you download it, you get this zip file, you extract it, and if you run your server for the first time, and then close it, you see this T-Shock folder is created. And this is the file we're going to be editing. So if you right click it and then just hit edit with notepad or if you have notepad plus plus like I do, you can do that. So this is what your config file looks like. Um, the things that you change are after this colon. Okay. Now this might be a little bit confusing for somebody that's new to T-Shock. You might not understand what all these things are asking. And if you really want to customize and have some fun, well you're going to have to know what these are. So what I've created is this kind of a cheat sheet for you. So what I've done is I've copied all these descriptions. These are off the T-Shock website. And they're all in alphabetical order. So what I've done is I've copied the description and the default value and I've placed them into this cheat sheet because as you can see these are not in alphabetical order. So you're going to do a lot of hunting and pecking around um, just to learn what all these things mean. Which is fine if you want to do it that way but this is just kind of an easy way for you. So what I've done is I've created a hashtag and on the right side of this hashtag you're going to see the description for this field okay the value that it's at currently and then uh, so the description will tell you what it is but also I've added this default value for you guys um, so you know if you do make any changes to your file you can always put it back to the default okay so once again I just want to point out that this is the file you're going to be using not the one that has the notations on it Okay, there is a few changes since the Terraria 1.2 update and the T-Shock version 4.2 update. They've added a few things on here and you may or may not know what they are. But um, if you just read the notes, uh, you should be pretty much all set to go. So after you make the changes, and I, I recommend making these changes while your server is off. I'm going to cancel that because um, sometimes they won't always update right on your server while it's, while it's running. But anyway, guys, I will leave a link to download this file right here. And I'll also leave a link so you can read about these descriptions in your T-Shot config file because they may update this or add to it and you'll always want to know what the new stuff is um, anyway guys thanks for watching and if you guys have any comments or questions just go ahead and leave it down below thanks a lot